Woo! What's up everybody, Khalil here. We got some spicy ramen and some fried chicken wings. They Popeyes. I don't know if y'all mess with Popeyes, but they Popeyes. Before we enjoy, please smash that like button for your boy. I would highly appreciate it. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Mm. Popeye. Popeye versus KFC. Mm. I don't know. I don't know, G. Hey, y'all, should I? <laughs> should I kill myself today, y'all? Y'all wanna see me suffocate on camera? <laughs> Look at that wing though. Yes sir, yes sir skis. We got some sweet heat sauce I'm gonna dip in there. Oh man. I'm gonna dip the sweet heat in there. Make it sweet heat, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. Slip the whole thing in there like that. Sweetie is their number one sauce, I'm telling you. This is Ted Conrad. In 1969, he walked into Society National Bank in Cleveland. Mm. He took $215,000 out of a vault. After he robbed the bank, he went straight to a plane and flew all the way to Boston, where he lived the rest of his life. Mind you, this guy had a girlfriend and family back home. He cut all ties with him. Forgot about him. Skedaddle. <clears throat> He took the identity of a guy named Thomas Randall and then started working at a country club right outside of the city. Mm, 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 mm. I should have got more pieces of chicken, bro. This ain't enough for your boy. <laughs> oh, let's try this buffalo. I'm gonna try this buffalo, bro. I'm gonna dip this in the buffalo. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> oh man. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. That's a hit. <clears throat> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm sorry, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get back to the story. Then he started to get into the car business where he actually stayed until he retired. He even met a woman, started a whole new family, guys. A whole new family. Got married and all. Him and his wife was married for about 40 years. They had a daughter, and I just don't know how he could completely like forget about his original family like that. That is crazy to me. <clears throat> but 
That is ridiculous to me. Mm. Mind you, the FBI was looking for this guy everywhere. Like, everywhere. The crazy thing is, y'all, he got diagnosed with uh, cancer. It got in his lungs. The cancer spread to his lungs. And he wanted to tell one final secret to his families and friends. He was even friends with the FBI that lived there, which is crazy. <laughs> they never suspected a thing. But he couldn't tell the secret because the cancer had spread so much he could no longer speak. So he confessed to his wife and daughter. The FBI was looking for him for 40 years. I never got caught. I never caught him. My question to y'all is, <clears throat> could you ever leave your family? Say somebody's gonna pay you a million bucks to move away and never talk to your family again. Could you do it? Could you do it? Could you leave your loved ones? The person you married? <clears throat> the person you're with? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. The only reason I work so hard is because of those people, so. I couldn't. <laughs> Once his wife and daughter told the FBI, they were so confused because they always were like, whoa. <clears throat> he was always a nice and kind guy. We would never expect this guy to, you know, have robbed a bank. <clears throat> mm. Woo! Mm. I don't know. <laughs> you know what? It might be good in some sweetie sauce. <laughs> oh, snap. Crackle pop. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And there it is. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Check out this mukbang right here while I tell a lady who was woken up and paralyzed during her surgery and the doctors did not know.